right? So you may have read how uh, Epic released all their Paragon content for free, or there's a lot of it you can download now as of this recording. I'll post this link below in the description, but if you go over here to view the assets and you're logged into the marketplace here, uh, you can go ahead and I've already, I think, purchased all of them. You can see down here it says own, but if you haven't, you can go ahead and add it to your cart. And then we go to checkout, you can go ahead and buy them. And of course, it'll be zero dollars. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and launch our Epic Games launcher here. And you're going to see I already have 4.1.9 installed. If you don't, if you go to your library here and click this plus sign, that'll give you more versions. So let's say you had 4.1.8.3 installed. If you click this plus sign, 4.1.9 will be available to you and you can hit install and it'll go ahead and install that for you. So once you have this installed, you can now launch it. And we already have an FPS test level where I was dropping some characters in for earlier, but we can go ahead and just make a new project. Uh, we'll go ahead and name it. And it can be blank. We'll go ahead and make it first person and we'll hit create project. And if we go over here to our content browser, you're going to see we don't have any characters to drop in. So how do we go grab those characters? We'll go back here. And if you scroll down, you're going to have your vault of things you've added from the marketplace. And you're going to see all the Paragon characters are here. Let's go ahead and do a gadget here. So we're going to say add to project. It's going to ask you which, which project you want to add it to. We're going to say our other test project. And we'll say add to project. That'll go ahead and queue it up and start downloading it. And you can see here it's now adding it to our project and verifying. And if you go over here to our folder, you're going to see Paragon Gadget has been added to our project. Um, you're also going to see a cache size now available. Um, I've also added these previously, so I can go ahead and say add to project. We'll go ahead and throw them in here as well. And we'll go ahead and add Grux. And now that we have those, we can go back to our project. And now, for instance, we'll go in here to Crunch, Characters, Heroes, meshes and we can just grab, we can double click as SK mesh here. I'm going to go ahead and load it up so you can go through here and you can uh, check him out. You can hold down L and you can change the lighting around him. Kind of preview how this is going to look. You can see all the materials are assigned. So if you highlight that, you're going to see this is where that material is. If you want to check out that material, click this little browser and now you can go over here and you can double click this and then this is the material and you can see the textures that are plugged into him. Here, and if you want to go and check these out, you can hit this browser and it'll browse to your texture folder here. And then you double click these and you can check out, you know, where they're putting their scratch textures, where they're putting their grunge textures, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll go ahead and link you to videos on these setups as well. I think you'll find them pretty interesting. Uh, you can also take these meshes, you can just drag them in here. You can also go through here and we can check out some animations on this guy. So we've got an attack animation. Hook animation. Speaking of animations, if you go to the forum thread, it looks like Jay's going to be walking everybody through on March 29th how to set up the animation blueprints for the Paragon characters. So I'll go ahead and link you to this thread as well. But if you want, we can go ahead and drop in the other characters. So we'll go back to... Let's go to animations here. Let's type in idle. And we'll drop that one in. And one more, we'll go ahead and throw Grux in there since we got it in there. All right, so we can go ahead and hit play and hit F11 to go ahead and go full screen. There we go. So I can run around and check out all these cool characters that you can use from Paragon. And like they say, you don't have to pay anything, they're completely free. You can use them in commercial and non-commercial Unreal Engine 4 projects. You've got your base meshes, texture, skins, abilities, character effects, and dialogue. And like I mentioned before, the animation blueprints are going to be gone over on March 29th in their live stream. So check it out. And even if you don't plan on using them in your projects, it's really cool to be able to go in here and kind of dig through their files and uh, just see their process and all that cool stuff.